Good morning, lovelies. I hope you all are staying safe and staying sane. You just saw a glimpse of how my morning usually looks like, and I have my coffee here. Ah, <sighs> that first morning coffee sip. All I need to do is apply some makeup, get changed, and I'll see you in a little bit to chat, okay? Mwah. Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Jaylee Vlogs. I hope that you guys are all doing well and staying safe. Today in my video, I will be shooting some things that I am currently doing during the quarantine. I'll take you out to Captain Crab to um, get some takeouts with me. And you know, we'll do a little mukbang together. And then I'll go over the few things that you can do to stay productive during this quarantine. If you are new to my channel, I usually do makeup tutorials, product reviews, and occasional vlogs. So come with me on my adventure for the day and we'll come back and talk about some things that we can do to keep us all busy and entertained throughout the day that we're in quarantine together. So we are going to go to Captain Crab to grab some lunch and I'm just in the mood for Cajun so we're doing takeout. Since this has been the fourth week and the virus is getting more serious we're wearing masks outside so pretty soon I'll wear this mask on and we'll go to Captain Crab. I ordered some Cajun seafood bag. There's going to be mussels, crabs, corn potatoes, and shrimp in the order so we're so excited to go pick up the order they say that it'll be ready at 3 p.m and we are on our way so i'm just going to put on my mask i'm so not used to this guy i already hand sanitized my hands before i go into the car you know touching the metal of the car makes me paranoid sometimes so I have hand sanitizers in the car and we both have masks on so if one person wears a mask the other person definitely need to wear a mask as well except for her I don't really have masks for dogs but that's definitely needed as well <laughs> just going to go pick up our order now I don't know how I look in mask, but I feel like this is not a good look at all for both of us. <laughs> I've seen other YouTubers create masks and you know, the masks that they make is so like fancy Chanel's. I just don't have the fabric and I'm not creative on how to make a content to make masks. So we are using the regular medical mask and th they say that this types of mask protects about 95% of the virus from entering so it's not 100% with these masks like the the doctor mask that you see that that's more protective towards the virus and bacteria this one protects about 90 to 95% so it does the job pretty well but it's not the best mask out there and if you're using cloths as your mask or you're covering your mouth with a scarf, like what Trump recommended, that only protects you about 50%. So it's a 50-50 chances. That's why these masks are really limited right now. She likes to sit up here with us. We're like a family of three. <laughs> So after picking up our order, we will also be going for a walk and it will take you to a place where we usually walk and it's not a park. I just feel safer walking here. So we'll take you to another spot as well. And we've been going to this place for about two weeks now since quarantine. Yay, we are here at Captain Crab. So we're just pulling in to our Cajun spot and he's just going to go in and pick up the food. 
I try to keep my mask on to stay protected as all times while I'm out here. And my baby girl, she's just panicking right now because her dada left. Don't usually like that. <laughs> she's a little scared. Oh, poor baby. Dada will be back. Come here. Dada will be back. So she's just in her panic mode thinking he abandoned her. Oh, he didn't abandon you. He's coming back. Yeah, she's really scared right now. <laughs> Yay, we got our order. Okay. Okay, go ahead and put it in the back. Not going to touch it for now, and I'll give him some hand sanitizer. <laughs> Jesus. You know, this is a new normal now, so every time we take takeout, since his hands have been on the plastic bag, we'll just hand sanitize and everything. We got our food. We're just going to go for a 10 minutes walk. Let's go to our secret place together. <laughs> I feel like eventually they'll send us all back out there to fight this coronavirus. We can't hide forever. It's just absurd. And, you know, as scary as it sounds, we're all in this together and we have to go out there and fight it. I just don't think we'll be seeing our family or our friends for a long time. But here is our secret spot. Now this needs to be a movie theater that we go to all the time. It's emptied. I figured that a movie theater parking lot is safe because one, not a lot of people come here. Two, uh, there's not a lot of grass. My dog can just walk and she's not sniffing anything toxic. So, you know, we've been out here for the last two weeks just walking this parking lot. At the parks, it just doesn't seem safe at all. This is like a very sad ordeal for us. We can't even go to the park now because too many people are out there. We don't know if they're coughing or sneezing in public. And that thing just, you know, that virus just lingers in the air. So that's one scary factor of being out in the park. It's just the amount of people that's out there, especially on a nice day like this. So we rather be isolated, but you know, we feel isolated here, but at least we feel safer to walk. And I'm telling you, not a lot of people know about this. Since we've been out here for the last two weeks, we probably saw like two or three people walking here like us. It's not like a park. So we'll be out there wearing our mask, walking around, taking a little show. We actually came out here and got our exercise on. We went running out here too. So, you know, it's sad, but it's our reality right now until we get the go to get back to doing what we need to do. And that might be quite a while from now. Oh no, she ran off. You better come back. <laughs> it's really windy today. Not as warm as I expected it to be because of the sun. But there's our car. go back into our car because it's so windy we didn't even quite make one round today Whew. it's really really windy <sighs> too windy for a walk today it was snowing earlier too so 
at least the air is fresh. We're going to just head back home now. We'll see you at home. So we're seeing a couple geese walking around. You know, there's no humans in sight. Now the animals are taking over. Jesus. <laughs> they are working. They are walking the parking lot right now. Not even being afraid to get run over. Huh. Bye guys. <laughs> and here you can see the crab legs, the snow crab legs, the nice and juicy mussels, and the corn, the potato, and the delicious shrimp with head. Mm, I love this. Sorry for teasing you guys. And there's the opening of the soda. You hear the sound? This is like our first mukbang, but mm, quarantine food. And of course, before I unwrapped the bag, I Clark clean everything outside and also hand sanitized my hands already. So everything is pretty much, I believe, is safe. We just decided to take out today. We rarely take out. This is like our fourth week quarantined and the second time we've had taken takeouts. So it's not like we go for takeouts every day. Pretty soon we feel like the economy will up and up eventually anyway. Being quarantined for so long, we don't know what is going to happen next. But it's best that we can also support our local business making sure that they have what they need to keep their business going as well. So takeouts are pretty good and I, I believe they're pretty safe if you practice all of the CDC guidelines. We're gonna enjoy this meal and you can join us for a little bit. Okay, let's Cajun seafood cheer. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot of food. That is. We're just going to enjoy it. I love the shrimp with the head. So what do you think will happen to us next after all this quarantining? People can be um, very uh, scared to go out there and don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah, yeah, like us. Yeah, because we could get infected by others because they don't do uh, social distancing. But did you hear on the news the other day? that this will probably last until 2021. That would be sucks. Okay. How do you guys feel about that? Being quarantined until 2021. <laughs> no, not quarantine, but social distancing to 2021. That's mean you can go out do your normal routine, but just don't be so close to one another. But they haven't found the vaccine, so. Mm hmm So you go out there, just be careful, just don't. It's a risk every day, guys. Just don't That's get... what they're trying to tell you. Mm hmm You'll be out there working. We'll be out there working, but there's risk every single day until they find a vaccine. But all that we can do for now is pray, guys. And stay in and eat well and wash your hands. This is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy with the shrimp. And I like the sauce, too. Here, you and me, you take one side, I take one side. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it all. <laughs> well, here's how the mussels look like. It's pretty small. We're making a mess, but we'll keep eating and I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so now that we're back, I am so full from all the 
mussels, shrimps, and crabs, and they were so good. But I'm glad that we're back and we can talk and plan on how to be productive throughout the day, especially while we are quarantined. So what I know is that when I get up in the morning, I don't usually go to my social media devices right away. And every time that I have been doing that, I feel more productive because I know I have the whole day to do it. The first thing that I do when I get up in the morning is I just go and do what I need to do. Like go brush my teeth, shower, take care of my grooming first and make my bed, make sure everything looks nice and clean and neat and prepared for the day go down, brew my coffee as I normally would when I go to work. One thing they say that successful people do is when they get up in the morning, they fix their bed and that makes their day complete. It sounds very lame, like, oh, you need to fix your bed, really, for you to have a great day. But to have a great day, you have to start your day out organized and well. So starting with your bed is so important. Even though I'm not working, I have other responsibilities that I still have to do with my job, which is to go on Zoom for meetings. After my Zoom meeting, I cook and then I clean. I feel I'm very productive when I'm cleaning the house. I mop my house like once every week, to be honest. Before all of this started, I mop my house like once every month, not very often. But with all the virus that's going around, I want to keep things more clean and I mop every single week. I clean the counters with the Clorox wipes every day and I Lysol the house, the couch and everything just to make sure everything is nice and fresh. Also, I've been washing my hands to the point that it's getting dry. So I lotion it every night before I go to bed, making sure that I wake up with nice soft hands again. When I feel like I'm running out of things to do, I can always preoccupy my mind by calling my family, calling my friends, checking up on them, making sure that they are safe, and assuring each other that we are going to be okay during this critical time. Right now, it's not about what do I need to do? Um, make things up for me to be busy. That's great if you can make things up for you to stay busy, but you need to have that relaxed frame of mindset where you know that everything will be okay. Don't try to stress yourself because the more stress you add to yourself, that's going to affect you even more. Again, I'm not gluing my phone to my face and constantly keeping up with what's on the news because it's crazy out there right now. Keeping up with the news can actually affect your mental health as well. So be careful, guys. It's good to be informed, but if you are too informed to the point where you're panicking, that's not healthy. Just be sure that you are getting your rest. If you're staying up to two or three in the morning, I can relate to that because my sleep schedule have been so fudged up. And I'm telling you that that's not healthy and I am going to change that. I wake up with a mindset, it's a new day, it's a fresh day. With a schedule or routine, what not, I just need to focus on my responsibilities, get things done, get them out of the way. If you've run out of things to do, you can always read a book, watch a movie, and walk your dog or even take a hike. Go on a run, sweat all that stress out. Um, in Pennsylvania right now, when I came outside earlier, it was so windy. This morning I saw a glimpse of snow coming down and it's already April. So April Fool is really fooling us in Pennsylvania. We don't have the luxury of nice having nice weather right now. So if it is sunny where you are, take advantage of that. Keeping busy right now and keeping your mind sane is so important. I'm just doing what I can with school as well. And I'm so happy that I can actually be in school right now. I'm taking an online course and I am writing some amazing papers. <laughs> Not a lot of things to focus on other than just being home. 
And you know, for the first time in a long time, I feel like I'm using my time very useful. So I hope you can ease into that mindset and not take this as, oh my goodness, I'm wasting my life, um, cooping in the house and not being productive. Whatever your mind tells you, that's how things are going to be. So just relax and keep calm. I know that saying all of this sounds so easy, but it's really hard to do. I admire other YouTubers who can get up in the morning and, you know, follow their set schedule throughout the whole day without having any issues. As for me, I feel like I have been so ingrained to a routine and schedule when I was working that this is now the time for me to release that routine and just really do what makes me happy, makes me complete. Okay guys, I wish I can help share some things to ease your mind on being quarantined right now. I hope you enjoyed the mukbang and a little vlog on how my quarantine life is going. If you find it helpful, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, mwah.